The masks made in this video are intended for decorative use, not for wear. Some of the materials used could be harmful to your health. If you do try this at home, do your research, follow all safety precautions, and have fun. Oh good, you're awake. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I feel refreshed. <laughs> good, good. You, you, the plastic surgery was a success. <laughs> and you now look like a 5,000 year old <laughs> desiccated corpse. Congrats. Thank you. Now, now I, I'm clearly, I just want to show you how I made this mummy mask. Yeah. So let's just jump right in. Okay. Previously on Long Lost Friends Studio, <laughs> I made this scary witch mask. You did. And I also made this creepy ventriloquist dummy mask. <laughs> right. And they both share something with the mask I'm making today, uh -huh. which is they all started with this blank mask. Oh, yes. The difference here is that because it's a mummy, mm -hmm. I had to nip off the tip of the nose uh -huh, to make right. it look like uh, the flesh had been eaten away uh -huh. or that it had collapsed over time. Good idea. And as gruesome as that sounds, yes, it's not as gruesome as my, once again, cutting myself oh, while working no. on art. I don't know why you're not supervising me closer. I'm sorry, I should be. All right, let's get down to this. So with the nose shape all squared away, yeah. the next step was to create the rotten teeth. Oh, yes. And so I turned to our good friend, Cosclay. Oh, good idea. Because it's durable. Yeah. And because I knew I had to bend it and glue it onto the face and I needed a little bit of flexibility. Nice. And here they are. Ugh. That's yeah, what happens right? when you don't go to the dentist. Exactly. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Hmm? I know it's late in the year. Yeah. Uh, and I know Halloween has passed. Oh, no. And this is a Halloween mask. Please don't. So that makes this... For the love of a God. Halloween leftover. Halloween! just lost the will to resist mm -hmm. at this point. Mm -hmm. Oh good, I've won you over. <laughs> Once again, I'm going to be using FOMO oh, good. to form the muscles of the face. Okay, you used that on the dummy mask before. I used it on the ventriloquist dummy mask and I used model magic on the witch mask. Right. And they're all kind of the same sort of clay. Okay. Kind of a foamy, springy, spongy clay. Okay. So you've done three masks now with foam clay? Yeah. Do you like working with it any better? Like is a pretty strong word, actually. <laughs> but it's the right tool for the job. Okay. It's very lightweight. Oh, yes, it is. So it's good for masks. Right. The masks I've been making yeah. are really for display, not for wearing. Of course. Uh, because of the, the paints and the chemicals involved in sealing them. Right. But whether or not you're hanging them on a wall or mm -hmm. hanging them on your head, uh, <laughs> the FOMO and the Model Magic are very light. Yeah, they, So it, it makes is. sense to use that clay. Yeah, it does, yeah. It, it's very airy. And it's air dry. Oh, yeah. So you don't have to put this mask in the oven That's to get good. the clay to cure. The downside is that all of the cracks and crevices and wrinkles that yeah. I dug and carved into his skin to make it look like it's centuries old. Right. Because of the sponginess of the clay, right. all of that detail work kind of reconstitutes itself. Oh. It kind of bounces back up. Right. And so it's not as deep or as dramatic. Right, As okay. you initially see. So you, once you get used to that, though, mm -hmm. you can kind of plan ahead. So I dug in these wrinkles really, really deep, oh, knowing did? that they would bounce back a little bit to the point where I actually wanted them. That's good planning. Well, yeah. Well, the, the reference images that I looked at indicated mm -hmm. that mummy skin is both taut, mm. kind of stretched tight, but also it can look cracked and wrinkled. So, so you use all... reference? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I looked at... I looked at photos of actual mummies, okay. of course, but, but since I was going for scary, uh -huh. uh, I also looked at movie mummies oh, yeah. and uh, some uh, old EC horror comic mummies, oh, good. Yeah. Uh, which are just classics. So it was, a, it was a good broad mix, Nice. but I just really wanted it to be terrifying, so yeah. <laughs> uh, I relied most heavily mm -hmm. uh, on your high school yearbook <laughs> photo. <laughs> <laughs> Time. I walk into it every time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But quit screwing around because okay. <laughs> I want to show you how I finish this thing up. Okay. Now the painting was Wait, pretty simple. So when it was all white, was that Mod Podge? Uh, no, I sprayed it with Plasti Dip. Oh, okay. But you could also use Mod Podge uh -huh. to just kind of prime it right. before you threw on the paint. And then you were kind enough to help me throw some color on yeah. with acrylic paint. And then I sealed it. Okay. Uh, but the real fun yeah. was making the bandages. Oh, yes. So we tried and failed with a couple of different things. We did. Uh, plaster strips. Yes. Paper towels. Right. But in the end, uh, the solution was 
uh, an old pillowcase, <laughs> yes. which worked out well, but it had to be prepped. Right. And the way that we prepped that was I mixed up some brown yellow paint. Yes. Again, acrylic paint. Right. And we just soaked the pillowcase in that. Yes. Because I, I wanted it to look like old aged bandages. Right. And then we brought it outside and I banged <laughs> the crap out of it with a rock because we needed them to look worn. Right. And it really does look great, I think. Yeah, it really aged the fabric. It does age it. Mm -hmm. And then I just glue down the torn bandages Mm. on the face and around the mask. Looks good. And I think it gives the impression of bandages wrapped around a head. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is just a half mask. Right. Like a Ben Cooper-style Halloween mask that only covers the face. But it looks like the bandages go all the way around. Yeah, with any luck. And then I took more of that wash that I had made. Okay. I darkened it a little more right. and I went in deep to where all the wrinkles were and I, I tried to just filthy up these bandages. Good idea. Just a little bit more. I mean this guy's been buried. Right? For centuries. <laughs> in the end, I think that it really looks like filth and crusted old bandages I around so. a corpse. Right? Yes. Which is what I was going for. Good. <laughs> just a few finishing touches. Another shot of matte sealant. Okay. And let's take a look and see what it looks like on. Yes. That's creepy. You look stunning. (laughs) Thank you. Look at that that stare. (laughs) You're allowed to look away from the camera every now and again. Oh, no. Man. (laughs) Feel it in my bones. Good. (laughs) It's a classic mummy. It is. It reminds me of that old classic show, Uh Mummy and Dummy. Uh, Yes. (laughs) Mommy, I'm home. Oh, hi, honey. How was your day? Great. Is my mother here? She said she'd stop by and give you some cooking tips. <laughs> Haven't seen her. Maybe her train's late. Uh, you do remember my mother's a wooden spoon. I... Oh. Oh, me! Did I do that? <laughs> oh, <come on. laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> so dumb. Oh my gosh, awful. <laughs> oh, I, I I do think, as dumb as that bit was, yeah. this mask turned out really good. Oh, it did. It's, it's so scary. Really sc- In fact, <laughs> you're forbidden from wearing this around me. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> Just don't do it. Mommy! 